it's a new year here on the ranch and we're just getting things cranked back up again. Uh, we're having a lot of new foals being born here uh, in the last couple of weeks and we've got our two-year-olds going under saddle and uh, sun shining and things are popping. Well, Hunter finished up his first tour of duty down here at the training center and uh, I really hated to see him go, but he felt like he needed to, to move on down to the cow camp and help those guys out, which is great because they were shorthanded, but uh, left me down here by myself. So I had to go on the lookout for some new help. You know, I really pride myself on getting to know the folks that I work with really, really well. I mean, I just want it to be like a big family down here. And it is like a big family. Uh, I'm very, very fortunate to have some of the outstanding help that I've got here. Uh, in fact, I'm flattered that they wanted to work here. We ended up with Emma Levine. You know, Emma came all the way out here from Seattle, believe it or not, just to work with us. Uh, my name is Emma Levine. I'm from Tucson, Arizona. Uh, we got Dawson Brooks. Dawson came all the way down here from like, I don't know, North Dakota or something. I am Dawson Brooks. I'm from Hurdle Mills, North Carolina. And then Sam Lammy. I think Sam's from Canada, believe it or not. Sam Lammy from Moose Lake, Minnesota. But they've got great attitude and I'm just happy to have them here. So it usually works out this way. We'll have one or two foals that don't get along just, just the way they're supposed to and, and we have to step in and give them a hand. And this little guy, he just needs a little nudge, I think. <laughs> yeah, she's milking. Okay, well, uh, this can be dangerous work, but I gotta find out, you know, if this mare's producing any milk for this foal, um, but it's evident after uh, handling her that, that she's nice and tight, she's producing milk, and she's cleaned off so I could tell that the foal's been on there nursing, so everything's good. So I can remember back when I was a kid, I'd sit in my desk at school and daydream about being a cowboy, but I don't really ever remember daydreaming about sticking a thermometer up a horse's butt. Well, this colt's not running a fever, and uh, you know, he's getting along okay. We're just gonna keep our eye on him and uh, make sure that he doesn't get dehydrated and make sure that he's getting enough to eat, but I think he's gonna be okay. That's good coffee though, isn't it? I like that. You're drinking the You're drinking the old stuff? Yep. The earthy? It is. Got a earthy? I don't know if I'd call it earthy. Okay, it tastes like There, yeah, that's it. I was trying to be. <laughs> What's that taste? What is that flavor? I recognize that. <laughs> well, I'm really enjoying working with the new crew. We're all getting along great. We have to work hard and we work a lot of hours but we're enjoying each other's company and that means a lot, you know. No, it's just that I think very fast. Dawson is a quick thinker. He's not a quick Hey. Dawson, Dawson's making good buffalo too. We all can't be this handsome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's true, you don't get everything. You just think fast, you run fast, right? Yeah. Gosh, you know, there's always horse poop to be shoveled around here. Uh, we just try to make the best of it and enjoy ourselves.
So Emma's got a degree in natural horsemanship and she's been around quite a bit. She knows how to handle these young horses. Um, I just have to kind of help her transition into, into our program. It's a little bit different than the way most folks do it, but heck, she's not having any trouble at all. Go ahead and, you know, if she, if she wants to make that turn on her own, don't let her. I want you to walk her forward and make sure you get that draw before she turns. Draw back at least one or two steps and then turn. Well, let her let her get out there a little bit farther. Give her some give her some room so she's not so close with it. And use that use that instinct that she's got to make her get back. You know. And she bring it up a little bit higher. Yeah. See how it's just kind of messy? That, that turnaround's not real clean. Just try to get a clean turnaround every time. And I kind of feel like you're getting to the end of, of her mental capacity. It's getting pretty close to the time to take a break with it. There, good, yeah, that was really nice, really nice. She's not working for you real nice and quiet and thinking right there, I quit her. I just quit her, let her wear that saddle till after lunch and then bring her back. Just pet on her and love on her and tell her good girl and, and put her up for a little while. Okay, so she's obviously not, you know, not enjoying that too much. So one thing that I see that's that's um, that's giving you a little bit of grief is is you're kind of banging around her eyes a little bit too much with the bridle, and and you're and you're making the focus of the whole exercise to get the bridle on, and that's not really what you should be focused on, you should be focused on her being quiet and accepting the bridle first. Because the goal is not necessarily to have a, a horse that, that can wear the bridle right now so we can go riding. The goal is to have a horse that is nice to bridle and willingly accepts it. Mm -hmm. Right, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so just slip it off her head there. I'm going to start with the bridle and see if I can get her to accept the bridle first. I always want to tie this just so I've got a safety in case things go south and she wants to get away. I've got a way to hold on to her. So I, I like to reach under here and just kind of get a hold of her jaw over here on the other side. I'm not gonna grab onto it, I'm just gonna block with it, okay? I'm just gonna go, and th this is step one, okay? She, she's already sort of wanting to avoid that right there, and so I'm just gonna put it right there, and when she relaxes to it, I'm gonna take it away, okay? And say, so that, that bridle rein's not gonna hurt. And see how she leaned into it that time? She's already saying, okay, okay, I can take that, you know? And I'll just slip that over her neck, get it out of the way, all right? I want to make sure that everything on my bridle is organized in the way that I want it before I go to slip it over her head, okay? Hold the, the crown of your bridle, this is the crown piece, hold it between your fingers like that and keep it spread out, all right? So that you don't, you're giving her as much of an opening there as you possibly can. All right, again, reach under and hold the jaw right here and then just quietly slip it right to right there, okay? If she accepts it, take it away. 
okay? If she wants to resist and go away from it, just hold it there gently. Only go up to the point to where you break her bubble and she wants to escape, okay? Pet her and take it away, all right? Then your right hand comes up over, over a pole between her ears and grab the crown of the bridle. Put the bit. Now see, she's, I'm kind of breaking her bubble right there, okay? I haven't done anything. All I've done is change the position of my hands. All right, so I'm just going to hold it right there until she relaxes. Then I'm going to give her some slack. All right. I would never, if a, if a horse wanted to fight me about putting this bridle on, I wouldn't put it on. I would not put it on until I can get all of these little, little steps in place and everything's nice and quiet, okay? So I spread the snaffle bit apart with my thumb and my uh, middle finger, all right? And I'm just going to hold that right there, okay? Until she relaxes. When she relaxes, I'm going to give her some slack. Now I'm slipping my thumb. Look here, Sam. Come over here and get tight. I'm slipping my thumb in there, okay? to the bars of her mouth, and I'm just gonna get her to open up her mouth nice and quiet. I'm not gonna put the bit in. I just want her to open that mouth and not avoid me, okay? When she does, I'm just gonna hold it there and just let her relax, and I'm gonna take it back out, okay? And I'm not, I'm trying not to bang. Now, I gotta be in contact and close in with her eyes, but I'm not gonna bang it around and hit her in the face with it, okay? Now this time I'm going to go ahead and put it in her mouth. I'm going to pull that curb strap down. Just hold it right there. Okay. Now this is real important. Make sure the brow band is up here in position. Okay. So it doesn't grab her in the eye. Put the right ear forward. If she wants to fight that, just kind of let her relax for a minute. Left ear forward. Slip it on. Okay. I can't stress how important it is to get these young horses started off smoothly. One little bobble can cause an issue that can really be a problem down the road. So we want to head off as many of those issues now as we can. So we're just trying to get this filly introduced to the flag here and, and get her over some of the issues that she's got with it. Uh, you know, she ought to be moving away from it instead of attacking it, but heck, she's going to get over it and things are going to be great from here on out. That's exactly what I'm looking for. You know, I just want these colts to go up there, stop using their rear end, pick themselves up, and go the other direction and do it smoothly. That's all we're ever gonna ask of these horses once we get on their back. They're gonna go forward, they're gonna stop, they're gonna draw back, and they're gonna turn around. We're just setting the foundation now. So getting a horse good and broke takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of patience, and it takes a lot of practice, both on our part and on the horse's part. You know, whenever you run into a, a situation like this, uh, we try not to make a big deal out of it because if we don't make it a big deal, it won't be a big deal. We just try to keep it quiet and smooth and keep it moving forward. We're not gonna have too much trouble with this filly. excited about 2020. Can't believe 2019 is already over. Uh, seems like the older you get, the faster time goes, but we got a great crew now. We got the best horses in the world to ride and we work for the best ranch in the world. So what more could I ask for?